Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're going to answer a viewer's question. Point into me. Lauren had an add-on question. Uh, the discrepancy in leg length is quite pronounced. She told me that a doctor once prescribed her a lift for the shorter leg uh, in the form of a special orthotic, but she hasn't used it for years. When I did footwork on the reformer with her, she clearly cannot keep her pelvis stable because in order to fully extend the leg, she has to hike one side of the pelvis. All right, so today we're going to look at how you can work with leg length discrepancies or perceived leg length discrepancies because it might, it could be coming from the pelvis. And I don't have her client in front of me, so I, I don't know that for sure. But we're going to look at a few techniques that you can work with and experiment with with your clients. All right, so we have another nest here. <laughs> Lots of stuff. We have the smart spine pillow. We have four warm smart spines that are going to help to support Casey's mid back. And then we have two large rotator discs, right? So this guy moves. So this is going to be really valuable for helping her to find where her pelvis should be or even find a different position of her pelvis she's not used to. And then we have the foot plate extender and we're just hanging it over the foot bar because with folks with a leg length discrepancy or a habitual hike in their pelvis that's creating that, it's really more helpful to feel the whole foot on the floor rather than just one part of the foot on the foot bar. And I like this as opposed to the jump board, right, because you can play with different angles. So this is really nice. All right, Case. Okay. Come on on. And we have two reds. Is that good for you? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Good. Just let me know and we can okay. change it if we need to. So the hardest part is getting into this. Definitely true. Yeah. There we go. You got that? Yep. Make sure that that's the center of your pelvis and your head and your neck feel comfortable. And then you can hug your knees in. And then I'll put this guy on here. And then make sure it's even. And then we have your feet parallel legs and feet here. All right, and so, you know, the first few are a, a dry run, especially for your client who's never been in this setup before. It's gonna take them a little while to just get comfortable. So I'm just gonna allow her to press out and in, just doing a few dry runs and kind of feeling where she likes the wobble board. What angle uh, is good for her where she can just keep it still going out and coming back in. And then while she's doing that, I'm just checking out what her, her compensation patterns are. What, she, what does she like to do? Where does she feel like she's in normal? Good, and we already saw in the last episode the same thing with the heavy left hip and a little bit of a hike of the left hip up to the armpit. All right, nice. So how's everything feeling? Comfortable yeah, in the upper back? Definitely. All right, so what I want to cue Casey with here is to press out just a little bit so she preloads the springs. And then I want you to wag your tail to the right just a little bit. Yep, and that may have moved the rotator disc a bit, did it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so I want you to keep that. And now I want you to really subtly put a little bit more weight into the right side of your sacrum, which is going to cause her to have to use this right leg and right foot a bit more. All right, so from here, she's <laughs> going to inhale and press out, trying to hold on to that tail wag to the right and that little bit of subtle weight into her right sacrum. Very good. And then slowly come in. And Casey is such a wonderful model because she finds it immediately in her body, even though it feels weird, right? It feels very weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's also paying attention to trying to keep this board still as she opens the legs. So we're building the, um, the strength and the awareness in those little intrinsic muscles and joints in her ankles and feet. One more, trying to let the pubic bone drop. Yeah, good. Soften and drop down into your sacrum, and then resist and come back in. 
So we talked about, remember my rain stick in the last episode, we talked about really allowing the leg to pour into the hip socket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to initiate the press out with the reformer. So my kind of the snow shovel of bringing her femur deeper into her hip socket is going to start the carriage going out. But I want to lighten this just a little bit. All right, so she's still reaching with that left leg. I have one hand kind of below her kneecap and the other hand at her hip. And on your exhale, let's start to go out. Exhale, good, nice. Let your pubic bone drop down into the back of your sacrum, nice. And now as she comes in, I want her to let go of her pelvis. She was pouring the femur deeper and deeper into her hip socket. I'm not going to let her go away from this right side of the hip. And I'm feeding her femur deeper and deeper in as she comes in to make sure that it's really being injected into that neutrally parked pelvis. How did that feel? It feels foreign, but really nice. Good. It relaxes my back. Great. Yeah. So we're stimulating those deep back muscles. So let's try it on the inhale going out this time. So I'm gonna initiate it, very good. So I'm giving her a little bit of a push out. She's not supposed to push herself out in the beginning. And now she's coming in, decelerating. Now let go of your pubic bone, let your sitting bones bloom towards the floor. Yeah, and now I have a lot of force here, right at the bottom of her kneecap into my hand as she comes in. And she's in charge of letting go of her pelvis. There you go. Good. And feel how soft that yeah, is? All of a sudden Front of the hip? Soft. That's yeah. beautiful. All right. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> Good. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning while having fun. <laughs> Don't I sound like I'm having so much fun? Okay, my hair is coming out.